17 hours into the day of uh, Saturday, uh, March 19th, 2016. That's our time and date stamp. And this is the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory L's uh, BTS vlog. I thought I'd try something new, uh, and I'll talk to you as I'm getting as I'm getting dressed. Uh, I'm getting ready to go. I'm about an hour behind schedule uh, to go food shopping. I just got to check a couple of things first. My wallet. Looking for one thing. Sometimes you have, you know, this is. I'm going to a place where I I, I don't usually go. It's, I go there maybe once a month. So I want to make sure. It, it, sometimes you need these these cards uh, to buy things. You know, they, they have these club cards. Okay, I've got it. It's the M, the M and M's meat. This is it here? The M and M meat club uh, 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 a card. They have. Uh, I can get good uh, onion rings from there, so I'm gonna try that. Try their onion rings there, and then uh, also I'm gonna get some butter. I'm gonna get some other stuff, other staples that uh, from this store that I don't usually get <clears throat> from my Asian store. So that's that today. So I'm just gonna pack up, get my bag ready. To go. See, there's only one person here, so I have to find a way to uh, to record my sort of my daily going ons. Uh, and at the same time, get everything work done. It's a little tight, so that's but that. So that flows better. There, that's a, that's better. So I need to get my boots on, and I need to get my uh, coat on as well. Yeah, so this is where I get dressed to go outside. And because I do everything by walking, everything has to be, uh, particularly in the winter, has to be uh, nice and warm. So, I dress accordingly. And this is, uh, the boots are, uh, aren't decorated boots, they're industrial, they're industrial work boots. Uh, rated for outdoors for rain, wind, weather. Th these are actually what I call my all-season boots uh, that I'm wearing right now. I have a pair of specific... I, didn't, I wasn't able to use them this year, this year, but uh, these are my ice pack boots. If there's a lot of snow and ice, it's like there's a lot of... Like, after a blizzard, that's why I wear those. Those are specific for uh, blizzard weather, uh, for after a blizzard. But for now, it's just more cold than anything else. Uh, the temperature's dip, dipped again. So, uh, it's just a matter of ha having my parka. I got windbreak windbreaker pants on that they're sort of, they keep out the cold. There we go. Ugh, wallet on one side. I'm going to check a second thing. The uh, carts they have, they require uh, a quarter or something like that to be put in them. They have two dollars, but not a quarter there. Yeah, so I'll see what I did with the uh, extra change. Anyway, I see my keys. 
Can't forget the keys. This area is going to be fixed up soon. This is this is one of the projects that I have to work on that uh, hasn't come on board yet. Nothing here. Sometimes the more pockets you have, the more problems that you got to have with it. Okay, I found an extra. Oh, here we go. Quarter. Okay, cool. Sometimes I don't always uh, take care of my change or flying all over the place. And uh, well, I've got six dollars in six dollars in change here, so <laughs> I guess I should be checking my pockets more often for loose change. Now I gotta put my bag on. So let's go over here and try our pan technique. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> We're <laughs> following along perfectly. Well, not perfectly. I mean, make but a cameraman work with that if, if there was a cameraman behind the camera. This is the backpack. Uh, uh, uh. Here we go. Put on the hat. And this is what I talk about being kawaii. This is this is my fun stuff here. You know. Yeah, I'm a big grizzly guy. Well, not really. I'm big in terms of 240 pounds. Uh, and I'm uh, double extra large on top. Uh, large on the bottom. So. I'm not exactly petite, so. A lot of the uh, cute stuff for petite people uh, doesn't fit me, doesn't uh, doesn't suit me, but I try. So this dark jacket, uh, funny, funky hats and gloves. Anyways, I'm off. I will see you uh, when I get back. So, yeah. Take it easy. I'm back. On my back. Now let's see if I can survive to getting it off and putting it away. Oh, man. Where it comes, the left shoulder. Oh. Onto a chair. That's here, it holds it up in a level position. Right arm swings off, and I'm done. Oh. Oh. Quickly take off my jacket, because I'm about to wet myself. Oh. And take off my boots. Oh. I'm going to leave the camera running while I go to the bathroom. Same problem again uh, with the boot. Left boot due to the heat and humidity from walking has a vacuum seal and it's difficult to get off. The backpack, because I was buying bulk supplies for the month for the next two months, was rather heavy. Okay, this pan. And go this way. So,
I now have a dehydration problem because I pushed my body right to the, le the limit and it was, I was fun feeling funny when I left, feeling off, uh, off, not funny, oh it's kind of the same thing. And I realized that yesterday, last night, I hadn't hydrated properly. And so right now, because I realized that I was, as I was walking, it was too late to come back. I'm now in a situation of dehydration. Everything hurts. Everything is sore. But I still have to unpack. And then change my clothes because I'm soaked. So that's where we are now. Let me go get the time. And it's still Saturday, March 19th, 2016 for a time and date stamp. It is 19 hours in 17 minutes. So we left around 17 hours, which is 5 o'clock. We got back uh, just now at about 7.20. So we're over the two hour mark for a walk. Not too much over a two hour walk, but nonetheless uh, over, over, I think we're about 15, 20 minutes over the uh, time. So Add the extra time, add the extra weight because this is this, these are bulk goods. Uh, I go to the store once every two, three months uh, to pick up bulk supplies. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, I'm going to leave this here for now because I've got to unpack. And then after I hydrate and uh, watch my adrenaline fall off, I'll vlog again probably from the research desk. Because I am going to have to go rest after this. This is, this is going to be uh, a, a, a fight for the adrenaline as it, as it drops off. <sighs> and this is, this is, a, this is about peripatetics. Peripatetics, if you're just simply walking, is one thing. And, talk, and thinking about things. Doing the philosophy. But if you're pushing yourself to limit and you walk, you're doing very, very heavy walks like this. This is... This is it, you have to think about every step you take. You have to push yourself through the pain. And in many ways, this is exactly what meditation is. It's, it's a holistic uh, mind-body, uh, mind-soul experience. So it's a holistic experience. And this is sort of the same thing here. Uh, and a lot of times to get myself through this, I do have to say uh, Christian prayers. That's just, it's just a very simple prayer. It's you bless yourself like this. You make the sign of the cross, and it's, the, the, and it's basically the Father is the length, the Son is on the right hand of the Father, and, uh, and there's the Holy Spirit. The Catholics have inverted it. They've also replaced the three fingers, which represent the Holy Trinity, with the palm. And there's a whole bunch of uh, theological implications for that. And it actually leads into why the papacy, the Pope, is actually defined as the Antichrist. So, we can get into that uh, in some of the meditation videos uh, which will be coming up on the Bash channel and also but it'll be everything is, is going to be posted on the uh, Cyborg Alpha TV network. Uh, so, you don't have to go looking all over the place for these different shows. They'll all be on Cyborg Alpha TV network. Everything's going to be brought together in one place. <laughs> Unpacking is next. Well, hello everybody! I figure now is as good a time as any to vlog. <laughs> yeah. I'm back at the research desk. Uh, uh, I finished eating uh, and, hyd and rehydrating. Uh, you have to put the fluids back into the body again uh, after such exercise. And uh, 
the note of caution here is, is that uh, uh, I'm not when I talk about nutrition I'm talking about uh, my medical stuff the my medical conditions I'm not talking about it from the point of view of nutrition standard medical uh, uh, understanding uh, my view of, of uh, medicine and medical science uh, comes from a view of organic chemistry so it's a view from organic chemistry that I'm coming into a lot of these different things and this is how I'll explain this uh, I came in uh, you saw how tired I was the first thought was to, oh have a glass of water but no and this is where they talk about you know oh sugary drinks are bad for you well not necessarily after that level of walk the sugar drinks are actually necessary because there's a lot of nutrients that are not only nutrients but 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 that sugar sugar provides the energy the the sucrose and fruit the sucrose the uh, uh glucose and fructose uh, actually provides the energy the body needs to have that to really repair itself so the first thing you want to do is is, is and this is what i did that i had uh two glasses of coke Coca-Cola. Uh, that was my first rehydration, but I didn't have it all at once. I had it staged out, so I poured a glass, had that glass maybe over 15 minutes, uh, rested a little bit, had another glass, and then after that I began to eat. I ate. Uh, after I ate, it was another gl uh, glass of Coke, and then from there it was uh, uh, about a half a liter of and mix between uh, grapefruit juice and uh, 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 and orange juice. After that is just about a half, about an hour. After that is about an hour. Uh, well, not even an hour. A couple, uh, about a half hour. After that is about is uh, about a liter worth of uh, of milk. And now, in a half hour. I'll start the hydration process uh, of uh, first uh, 500 milliliters of water, and then second, then the, a few minutes, uh, about an hour later, a another liter of uh, another 500 liters of water. Water. If you put the water in first, your first thing when you come back is water. You're gonna have run into a bit of a problem. See, water is a solvent; it dissolves things. So when you're coming into things like like the body nutrients, and you're you're coming in, you're already, already dehydrated. You're, you're in dehydration. You're miss, missing a lot of nutrients because as the body's used these things up. If you put water into the body, you're going to dilute the, the uh, already weakened system even further. In other words, you're going to reduce the amount amount of nutrients available to the body even further. So you need to have the sugars, you need to have all those nutrients put in first, and then at the end of everything, after the end of, you, you st of, of restocking your body with, with the needed chemicals, and again, it, the amount you have depends, one, on your body size and how heavy the work is. Uh, my body size is uh, double extra large up here. It's large on the bottom, and in terms of my actual weight, I'm 240 pounds. Now, oh my god, you're overweight. No. Because you need to consider the exercise, the walking that I do, the hiking that I do. The hiking I do is a minimum of two hours. For an hour, on the way back, because it's at the, I do this with my food shopping, there's between, there's between 70 and 90 pounds on my back. Today, uh, which was a little over two hours, uh, I had, for an hour, an hour plus, I had over 80 pounds on my back. And this pushes the body to its fundamental le limits. If your body is not properly built, and you don't work up to this weight, you're going to crush your body. You're literally going to crush your body. You will not be able to make it those two hours. Even myself, I have to... When, you, when I'm doing this type of exercise, when I'm pushing these limits, you have to focus. And I don't say... Again, this is, this is where... Uh, you know the peripatetics come in, and and talking about the uh, the philosophy while you're walking, the meditation is in order to focus through the pain and to get through, get to do what I do is really push my body's uh, limits. 
you cannot take the project as, okay, I'm walking from here, to, from point A to point B, in one chunk. It can't be the end, the, B cannot be the end point. What you have to do is you have to set visible goals. So when you start off walking, look the furthest point, the furthest point you can see, and usually you mark a light between, the, like, like, like a, a stop light, some, some points like that, like you go from, from, from the building to the street to the stop light, right? Point A, B, C, right? That's the point there. And you break them up into sub, that's the sub project. You have A to B is one sub, one project or sub project, and B to C is the uh, next project. Bye. Pushing yourself like this, you have smaller goals, you achieve those goals. The next goal is, you know, from the lights over a bridge or to a, another particular point. Again, you start breaking up the project again. Right? You select your point, the, the furthest point that you want to get to, uh, that's visible, break it up. And this is, the, this is the way it is all the way home. And you have to do this because if you, you take the entire project all at once, the tendency is to give up, to stop. Oh, I can't do this any further. And, you know, that's, that's how you defeat yourself. This is how, instead of producing something that is good, you end up producing something that is bad because you now end up hurting your body because you cannot uh, meter out the amount of energy that you, your body needs. And here's the other thing that your body needs when, you, when you're doing, doing this type of exercise. You need adrenaline. Adrenaline gives you the energy to keep going. It pushes your body beyond its point, and in that point of adrenaline, you don't feel pain. Pain is suppressed during with with adrenaline. It's only once the adrenaline cut, cut, uh, comes off, once it kicks off, and it usually takes about an hour, hour and a half for the adrenaline to kick off. Then you start beginning to feel the pain. That's what's happening now. It's uh, give, let me give it time and date stamp because it's about ten thirty right now. It's twenty two hours and 20, 29 minutes into the day of Saturday, March nineteenth, two thousand sixteen, uh, and the. Adrenaline is starting to come off, and I'm starting to feel the pain. The pain of the walk is starting to hit. It's hitting in my shoulders where I was carrying the bag. It's hitting in my legs, and it's hitting in the lower back that are connected. The, the back muscles are actually connected to the glutes. Those are the, your butt muscles. The butt muscles is an extremely important uh, 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 muscle for walking. A lot of times when uh, people talk about lower back pain, a lot of times it's because people have been sitting too much. If you sit too much, then what happens? The, the butt muscle starts to atrophy, and there are muscles that connect to the butt muscle, which are the gluteus. The butt muscle is the gluteus maximus. There is our muscles that go from the gluteus maximus into your uh, upper groin area to the groin area, and up into the abdomen. And then there's ones that equivalently the, uh, for the, to the front. Uh, there's ones on the back that go from the, from the um, gluteus maximus up to uh, uh, to basically up to, almost up to the rib cage. There's first to the uh, the lower level of rib of the rib cage, and then up to the upper levels of rib cage, almost to the, to the shoulder bones, to the the shoulder blades. Uh, you also have muscles that, that connect to the gluteus maximus from up there. So depending on how tough the exercise was, how far you push yourself, you could experience pain all the way uh, from uh, the legs, your hamstrings, which are basically your upper thighs all the way up into uh, the lower back. And people who have underdeveloped butt muscles, who have basically muscular, muscular atrophy, these are the ones who can experience back pain. And a lot of times what happens is because the muscles aren't strong enough to support the actual weight of whatever you're carrying, this is what puts strains on the disc, on the disc, the uh, vertebrae, and it starts to crush the discs, and that's when you start. That's when you really have back problems. First, the back back problems are initially uh, muscle spasms. From the muscle spasm, that goes into a ruptured disc if the if the muscles continue to atrophy at a, at a particular pace. So that's kind of the way things are going right now. Uh, I'm gonna come back in two seconds because I realize I can't swing the camera around to do that. Try swinging the camera to show you uh, the o open IP by uh, open IP TV. But that didn't work, so uh, I'm going to try a second method now, and I'll be right back.
Welcome. Welcome to the library. And I am the library. I am the professor. And professor of what? Professor of physics. Oh, say, can you see? Speech rules here at Democratic Earth.